gymnast and I am so excited to join you today in the 10 10 20 move your mental health brought to you by the John W Brick Foundation movement is something that's always been super important to me as a gymnast and as I progress into my life after gymnastics I am constantly looking for ways to connect my mind and my body to feel strong to feel centered and to feel calm in everything that I do all right first things first in order to have a great workout we got to make sure that our muscles are warm so I just want to start by jogging in place for about a minute. If this is too much, we can just take it down to marching in place. Just want to keep your body moving. If this feels easy, feel free to do some high knees or even kick your butt. Nice and easy. Just want to get that body feeling warmed up. And we got about 10 seconds. I know you guys are doing great. All right, now that we're feeling a little bit warmed up, the next most important thing is to feel stretched. So I just want to start with some big arm circles back Really opening up your chest, your shoulder joint. And we'll do some spinal twists. Nothing crazy. Opening up your upper back, your mid back, and your lower back, but not pushing it too far to the point that anything's uncomfortable. And we'll do some crisscrosses opening up your chest. Maybe you're like me and you're outside and some beautiful fresh air. And we'll do some arm circles forward. And switch. All right, now that we're feeling more stretched, I wanna do one more cardio burst, you guys got it. We're just gonna do some jumping jacks for about a minute. If this is too much, feel free to bring your hands to your hips. Or even slow it down, do some side taps. We're about halfway there. Really just pushing off your feet. Getting your heart rate up a little bit. We got about 10 more seconds. Awesome job. So now I want to teach you guys the infamous gymnast stick. Whether you've watched gymnastics at the Olympics, you've seen that every time a gymnast finishes a skill or their routine, they always present to the judges with the infamous gymnast stick. Now let's take it from the floor exercise. Every gymnast competes a routine that has about three tumbling passes. So I want us to practice our gymnast stick. So we'll run for about 20 seconds do a big jump, kind of squat a little bit. You really want to feel your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes fired up, and then bring your arms up and your legs straight and present to the judges. All right, let's get going. You guys got this. So we're just thinking we're running down the floor. Picture yourself tumbling whatever pass you'd like. And we're gonna do a big jump, stick, and present. Awesome, we got two more. You can do some high knees. Really feel the power through your legs. And big jump, and stick. And one last one, kick your butt. Don't stop now, you guys look great. 
and big jump and stick. Nice work. So one of the first skills that a gymnast learns is the handstand. And how we enter that handstand is very important. Gymnasts start by learning a handstand lever. And I want all of us to practice that today. That really helps with balance and core stability. So how we're gonna start is you're gonna put one foot in front. We'll do it on each side so it doesn't really matter which leg you start with. We're gonna get a slight bend in that front knee, arms above our head, and just lean to about 90 degrees Really trying to keep our hips square. If this is too much, bring your hands down to your hips and feel free to not bring up your legs so high. And we'll switch. Again, really feeling strong in that first front leg. Great work. All right, we're gonna do that one more time, but first I wanna alternate with some lunges. Like the handstand lever, and a lot of skills that a gymnast learns, balance is super important. In order to stay balanced, we wanna make sure that our chest is up tall, our hips are square, and we're really squeezing our core tight. We'll do about one more on each side. Great work. All right, back to those levers. You guys want to try handstand? We would love to see it. And if you feel yourself wobbling from side to side, again, feel free to bring those hands back down and not lift your legs so high. We'll go on the other side. Great, and we'll do one more set of lunges, except this time we're gonna go backwards. A gymnast learns to tumble forwards, to tumble backwards, and even twist in the air. So it's important that we feel comfortable and balanced in all types of positions. And we'll do one more. Awesome job, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today in 101020 Move Your Mental Health with the John W. Brick Foundation. You guys were awesome.